Rachel. Uh huh. Hi guys. Sorry. Hello. I'm finding us. How's everybody so doing today? You can see it. Hey, look. Wow. We're Are we live. right? And we're, we're right. And we're and correct. We're, right. we're correct. We have signage. We kind of have signage. Well, I mean, as in we're not. We're not upside down or sideways. Okay. So we have a whole bunch of stuff going on. I know we've been busy. We had a rabbit show this last weekend. Huge event. So Huge. we are still um, recovering from that. And we have, look at what I brought in today. This is a huge bag of Angora. I don't know how much this weighs. A lot. It's I don't know whether this here. is even going to weigh it. Okay. It might be too much. Let's see. Five pounds. Five something. Pounds. Of Angora. Of Angora that I have sheared off of our rabbits. Um, I still have more to shear. <laughs> You know, There's still some good that need to be naked in my barn. Produce a lot of wool. They do. However, we, it seems like we never have enough. Ever. Ever. Well, that's only two roving blends and a handful of these. These. Because when we do our fibers, this is what we do is we take our, our prime. We sort through the bags like this. There's several bags in here. And this is our prime fiber. And we divide this up and we sell these and then we and then the rest of it goes into our roving blends i spin some of it all sorts of crazy stuff i just had somebody come in here looking for angora yarn i didn't have the right kind i need to get more yarn which means we have to spin, have more, to spin yarn. more yarn it's I'm always making a thing. another table with a chair because so there are four breeds of angora rabbits recognized by the american rabbit breeders association and that's what we deal with we don't deal with german angoras um, nothing against the German Angoras. We just don't have them. They don't fit into my barn and my program very well. And, Nor it, mine. and so we just don't have those around. So, but every breed spins differently and has different factors to it. Just like sheep breeds. There's tons of different sheep breeds. They're all good for different things. It's the same with the Angora. So. What are we weighing out right now? Um, I'm going to try to find the stand. Okay. So, I'm going to switch this because to I grams need because we weigh our Angora in grams. Um, my bowl is 65 degrees. 65 is a good... Uh, you know, not that that means anything for the Angora. I just always find humor in the fact that there's a thermometer. Right. On the bowl. On okay, the bowl. so I'm weighing out satin Angora. This is satin. Make sure that's clean. We've been having a lot of wool on it. Okay, so I have a tag here. I'm gonna circle sat. We have our Angora class coming up the entire month of March. And we're gonna study a breed a month, or I mean breed a week. There are four breeds, four weeks. It works out really well. So in March. So in March, you guys can sign up online. It is $75 for the class, and that includes all of your Angora in these little bags. You're gonna get Satin, French, German, or satin, satin French, French, giant, and English. Plus, you're going to get a little bag. Where did I put the other little bag? Of dyed Angora, which is a mixed blend. This is your bonus. We're going to cover how I dyed it to get these colors and things like that. Um, so it's kind of like our overall Angora land experience. You can't put anything on the floor because the puppies, the puppies are loose. They're loose. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Don't put the drugs on the floor. No. Um, this is exactly like weighing out drugs. It is. 20 grams. 20 grams on so, the dock. you will get 20 grams of each breed. We mail that. We ship it free. Um, if that is something that is interesting to you, just send me a message or you can go to pearlyshell.com and under online classes, there's a thing and you can send that in and boom, you're done or and you're in. Or if you've seen our, um, event, you can you join that. Then, um, and it's um, tickets available. Right. Is the is the button you use? And then to get what there. you do with this is when you join the class, we put you into a live Facebook group, and once a week we go live and we answer questions, we share pictures, all of um, that stuff. Read history. Mm -hmm. All of that fun. All stuff. All of that awesome stuff. The differences between the breeds. We will be um, discussing. You know, 
Arba standards with these breeds. And why they are the way they are. And all of that good stuff. So that starts in March. If you're going to do this, we would like to have you guys sign up by March, by February 25th. So we can make so sure you we get it mail in time. all the stuff out. Um, we have other events going on. We, Those of you who are in our fleece class, which is a two times a week class, where this is our last week for that, got on... Um, know that we were we were MIA yesterday and we did our video today right like they're just like hey are um, you guys dead are you guys dead we haven't seen you because we totally skipped out on teaching class which is very irresponsible we of did us. it today we did a really good one we, today yes, even with we people were day coming late. in but um the reason that we were late is because there's another huge event coming up which is the Columbia Pacific Fiber Festival Columbia mm -hmm. Pacific Fiber Festival is going to be here in Long Beach, Washington. It was started by um, the, one of the spinning guilds uh, in on the peninsula, and we are assisting with it. It's going to be a lot of fun. We are currently right now working on classes. We are currently right now setting up vendors. We're going to have probably two to three locations. It is going to be so much fun. I can't even... You get to tell we you are, we you know, get to like, um, location. We, we've already filled up our first venue. Yep, we have. So we're looking for multiple venues. We are like knocking on doors, like politicians right now. Finding like, Hey, spots. you have a triple car garage. Would Is there anything mind? in there? Is there anything in there? Oh, you have a classic car. Would you mind if it got rained on this weekend? If there's nothing that has, if you've never been to Long Beach, Washington, we are on a little tiny peninsula. Um, and as, as far as Southwest Washington, Ramsey's, leave her alone. You guys go play in the other room. <laughs> We're going to shake the table back and forth. Yep. Um, we are in this little tiny peninsula in, on the, as far south in Washington as you can get. And there are about 1,800 people who live here year round. And then we get visitors during the summer and other times. It is really fun. Um, it is an amazing area. This is where Lewis and Clark first found the ocean. Yep. They, it wasn't here until they found it. Nope. Nope. Even this ocean <laughs> never exists. Even though somebody else floated their, floated their boat to us. Right. So, it is really fun. It's a great area. And we are um, really excited to be able to show it off and bring people here for an entire weekend of fun. If you are interested in teaching a class, if you're interested in being a vendor, let me know. We are filling up spots there because of how it was started. There's some stuff that's a little bit still up in the air and we are scrambling because there's going to be thousands of people that are coming here. It's going to be awesome. What is this? It's not full yet. It's still setting. Okay. Um, the setting was on the top. No, I, I know it's not full yet. I just was like, mm -hmm. I, there's, this is a mixed bag of satin, white and satin brown chocolates okay broken no it wasn't broken it's just two different habits it's now it's fun. broken no it's just broken. Two. two colors <laughs> um so we are going to be doing that and that's going to be a lot of fun um for everybody to participate in that is going to be um veterans day weekend so Make your reservations now at the Chautauqua Lodge. That is our home base. Yep. We are going to have other buildings and venues, like I say, but the Chautauqua Lodge is our home base. Please make your reservation now if you are considering coming. Because one, they will fill up. Two, we can show people how much support this festival has and how many people are going to be here. Yep. Only by using your numbers. Go find the Columbia Pacific Fiber Festival um, Facebook page. Facebook. Like their Facebook page. Like our event, um, say that you're interested in it. It's going to be a lot of fun. You know, we may be the pirates that don't do anything, but we do a lot of stuff, and you can bet that anything that we are involved with it is, is a little bit crazy and a, a lot, lot of fun. fun. So you guys come, and you can see us there. Um, we are going to have the shop open during that, too. So if you have always wanted to come visit our shop, and see this this is a great opportunity you can go to a fiber festival you can maybe take a class you can see the pacific ocean 
and you can come to the shop. We will Ram also have a special around. sale that weekend for the shop. And when I get enough interest, if I can get 3,000 people to like my event, I will bring in trunk shows. And we will have local vendors that may not have enough for their own booth and to have to be at a yard uh, to be at a fiber fest or we may not have room we only have so much vendor space but we will have two or three more in here that will be running specials we can do all sorts of stuff it's going to be yeah. so much fun um it is a great time of year it might be stormy but what you know fiber keeps you warm this is english we have english i know we have english but this was just feel this English this is why I love English this is nice. this is second coat English okay third sheer English I think it's better than first sheer. I think Honestly, so too the and texture look at the better. luster that it has yeah, and this is um this is from uh Kira's dough Kira's dough made this for me and there's like millions pounds of it not really pounds of it um she has Pounds. she's amazing that that dough we need some French amazing we need French I have French in this bag somewhere let me find it this is how bad it gets guys okay so we're gonna so again to recap we have the Angora breed study that starts yes. in March you can sign up online at pearlyshell.com or go to our event that way and we can buy get your tickets. kit to you right because, because we need we'll to get be these making kits up out. kits how many class we keep it three. around 10. So, so i mean if we can do a few more than that depending um we keep it around 10. so you guys can get your kits now to do this this is uh, like i say angora's in march april is alpaca and and camelid cam camelids camelids camelidas the by the way, family. someone bought just right out from under me this morning, Nigora fiber. I'm like, bam, right out from underneath me. I was talking to somebody on the phone I, who shall remain nameless, and I'm like, I'm buying Nigora fiber because this would be really fun to put in one of our kits. And then, and then the person who shall remain nameless says, that's a lot of justification to buy fiber. You know, addicts do that. What that is Shelly? Baby. Wasn't me. And I was like Because I would have said something like that too. And I was like And I, I would have really... said Nigora, is that like I don't know, some we couldn't afford Pygoras, so we took our Nigerian and It was it really a, cool. Angora. I mocked some of the crossbreds, sorry. It's really cool is what it was. Was it? it was really cool. Kay. It was I saw it. Would that it what is that? This is French. It looks like in English. Are you dissing my French? No, I'm not. I am not dissing your French. So French Angoras have a guard hair. They have all, all, most Angoras have a guard hair. But, okay, their guard hair varies in length. And the French, it is supposed to be a prominent guard hair, which to me equals about a couple inches longer than a regular than than their the under dogs is asking to go outside to and so this one is a younger French she has a guard hair there's a guard hair they probably can't, can't see, see it, it. From it's far, like far but away. there's guard hair but it is a softer coat however French should not be coarse no, no way no they should, should ever not be coarse it's if like they have coarse coat or a hairy coat you might as well just spin your Labradoodle. I don't know. It... Right. I will say too, I kind of have issues because sometimes Hi. my French has a little bit of luster, mm -hmm. not because they have carry sheen, because they don't, okay. but I tend to like really lustrous coats. Huh. Um, now this French, <coughs> Ramses, don't bark. Hello. Hi. This French here. See if I can get closer. Um, there's Leisha somewhere. In your pocket, probably. Um, there, now you can see the guard hair. This French has probably the most correct coat in my barn at the time. At the time of shearing. At the time of shearing for this coat. Don't you touch Aria. Um, there's a leash down there on the floor. Uh-huh, that's helpful. Here, that's okay, I have him. 
Okay, well, here, you can put her on the leash, too. She's evil. Eyed. <laughs> um, so French is Five really grams. interesting because of that. Now, you'll notice that the French actually weighs a fair amount more than you the will, satin. Yeah, you will get more volume out From, of your satin. Because even just look here. Satin English. English. I, we're weighing these out. Right. You know, the, the scale doesn't lie. Ever. No. Um, yeah, it would be nice if the scale lied. I mean, not for fiber, but for us. Human scales? I don't even talk about this. <laughs> Mine died. I have to replace it. Kind of Did you dumb. kick it through the wall or something? No, it? no. The button broke. It's been dying slowly for a long time. Just kicked it through the wall? No. Yeah, it's old. It's old. It's old. Um, this is a really fine micron French, though. All of my French, it's I think, really are very comparable fine. to the satin. I think my French are getting finer and finer in micron. Um, they are not, even though they Speaking have. Speaking of that, I only have one bag left, so this is our okay. Last. This is our last bag for today. Yep. Because look at, even though that has a guard hair. Mm-hmm. Look how lovely that guard hair is. It doesn't have, it's not a thick, it's not a thick guard hair. No, and the, it's nowhere a very in the standard does it call for a thick guard hair, just a prominent one, mm -hmm. which means they are to be there. Yeah. Um, and I know that that's what I've been selecting for because you inadvertently, no matter what, you select for what you like. Standard okay, or and no. as you can see, Heather's pulling apart fleet fibers as you can see it pulls apart mm -hmm. but it's not loose like this so this is just barely webbed Some right these... and so those are those are seconds mm -hmm. um and that is what we put in our roving yep or that i spin right and we make art yarn with it depending upon it right dye it because we do all of kinds of french, stuff with it these french were all actually coded up for my show so sometimes when we push the coats for the shows they, they get a web little webbier. Not bad. Nothing bad. There we go. But I'm really picky over what we put in these little bags. Right. We want What we put in these bags is prime. It's what we would consider prime if we were spinning it. So, right. So now another thing that's really exciting that is going on. Our final. This is like three announcements. This is our final announcement. This is the third announcement. Then we're going to go through them all again. Okay, is that somebody, Danielle and I maybe, are starting a podcast? Ah. This is our. You guys want to see us talk um, without any rules? That would be it. We so, are. We will be uncensored. There, there will not um, be. Yep. Yeah. Un. Un. Edited. Unedited. Uncensored, unedited, and unhinged. <laughs> because that's what we do best. So the podcast is called Yarn Unspun. And it is us. We were going to go to different farms. We're going to talk about all the stuff that makes us geek out. If you guys have not seen any of our fleece videos, oh there's my gosh. geeking out that happens Total with fleece. Geeking out. We will, we will be setting aside time. Um, so hopefully it will be... Oh, you're oh, yes, You need help. We got people in here too. It's awesome. We do. Uh -huh. She came yeah. to check everything uh -huh. out. Let us know if we can help you okay. find something. <laughs> uh, yeah, we will be setting aside time for this, and it'll be once a week, and it will be on YouTube and on iTunes. Wish us luck. We have no tech person yet. Right. That's the whole unedited part. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, um, there's one rule. There are no rules. Exactly. Right. Right. Uh -huh. Um. We will be talking about everything fiber related. Right. From fleece, we're going to visit farms to what you look for to all How the different spins, breeds, what all we the want things to make out of it. And I'm sure things that are completely unrelated to fleece too because we do that really well too and we get off to topic way like, far. Oh my gosh, if you've watched any of our live feeds when we've traveled. Yes. Those are really awesome. Cop. <laughs> There's a cop. <laughs> yeah. So that is really exciting. Um, yeah. So three things. Angora class, sign up, pearlyshell.com. Yes. 
Columbia Pacific Fiber Festival. Like us on Facebook. Like us, subscribe, follow what are the all those event, things? and make your reservations at Chautauqua. They're doing a special room rate. Um, somebody said they had and an issue with it. Those room rates Call them. are amazing. If yeah, if you are having a problem with the room rates and it's it's confusing you, call, call them. them. Their customer Tell them you're with the Fiber Festival. Oh my gosh, they're so nice there. And there's an indoor pool, and you're by the ocean. Like you can they're walk to the ocean. ocean. They're ocean view. They're right by the ocean. Yeah, there's something like yeah. that. They're really nice. Um, and that will be where our main event center is. And then we are taking over the town. It won't be till the third year, guys, that we're going to have the parade of sheep down the Spain Street. We totally do... want to do like a running of the wall. Yeah, it's going to be great. There's going to be. I'm. We're going to have the Unipiper. We have to have the We are going to have to. We'll have, have a 5K fiber. because that's how it goes right. around here. Down the hill or something. Right. It'll right. It'll be great. Uh-huh. Yeah. So. We need all the minions for the event. So if you want to volunteer, let us know that. We're going to start a list for that too. Um, this started as somebody had this vision that it was going to be very small and kind of homespun. Pun like intended. Like spinning. And, but we knew because we did the rabbit show. Yeah. And we knew how many people come to the rabbit show. That because we have this vision is very small. That this is going to grow. And the response has been amazing. So it's going to be great. And it's going to get bigger every year. And who knows what will happen with this. Because it's crazy and the pirates because are involved. The pirates are involved. And um, yes, and house elves are always welcome too. Would you like to come back, Angora? Um, and then we are yeah. going to... Um, also, and then our third thing is podcast. Which we will be getting a Facebook page up for. And all of that stuff, and that starts in March, too. Yeah, March is a busy <laughs> month. Then next week, we'll go over all the fiber festivals we're sending checks off to. <laughs> <laughs> we great. might have to, like, podcast at a fiber festival. It'll we are be going great. to be podcasting at fiber festivals. Dang right. Dang because... straight. Dang tootin'. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah. We're going to go help these lovely people that have come in, and we will be back later. And tomorrow, and we're gonna teach you guys stuff. If you want to learn something, let us know. We're up, we're up to teaching something tomorrow. We we're and um, we're we're totally into yeah. If you want to learn something, let us know. Drop us a line. We we can make a class mm -hmm. out of anything. Yep. All right, you guys have okay. fun. All right, and we'll talk to you later. Bye. Bye. It won't finish.